Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, man. I'm finna show you three builds in one video. Easily the most popular build last year, you know. The most overpowered, easiest build to use last year that was still most likely, you know, it'd probably be a wave this year too. It's a very easy build, man. When you have Hall of Fame finishing and shooting and you can speed boost, yeah, 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 you take the skill out the game. So I'm going to show y'all how to make those builds, man, and have creative names with it. So make sure y'all watch the full goddamn video. But before we go into that, make sure you subscribe if you know 300K on the way. I'm going to be giving y'all all the best builds, best jump shots, best dribble moves, dropping off all the compiest people, having a 97, 1%, no try. You know, all that good stuff and a lot of rage Taj's and all that. So make sure y'all subscribe, hit that like button. Make sure y'all like the video if you disappointed with the demo, my boy. But before we get into the demo or the, the builds I'm finna show y'all, I want to tell y'all something, right? But a lot of people are posting videos. This is, I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. A lot of people, you know, they're just doing unique names and stuff like that, you know, and, and unique names, that ain't, that ain't the way. They, they getting juice when you. The builds I'm going to show y'all are the safest builds always. I'm going to let y'all know if the builds are risk. Safe build as in it's going to be good for next year. Risk as in it might not be good. These will be good. Okay, it's they're safe builds to make. But one thing I want to tell y'all, guys, please, okay, please share this with your friends, bro. Do not make no builds with one defensive badge, bro. Please don't. I don't know why YouTubers are still posting these videos with one. De don't do it, my nigga. I don't even care if you play like me. Most of y'all don't play like me. I play in a way to where it's the it's the meta way, right? You have lockdowns, guard ball, and you guard the guy in the corner type of stuff, you know? That's the way 2K switched. I wish it was best players still guarding ball, but it's not like that since lockdowns have been introduced. If you don't play like me on the threes, right? You only gonna play threes. Don't make a build with one defensive badge. Of course, if you make a build with one defensive badge, you're gonna have a lot of finishing, shooting, and playmaking badges. Duh, stupid. And even if you are guarding the corner, he could just cut on you nonstop. And then you're complaining to the devs and stuff and all that. Or they could set a screen, get you to guard ball and exploit you, right? So don't be an idiot. Like, come on, bro. Those extra badges ain't gonna help you that much in, when you're getting exploited like that, my boy. Always have at least five to six defensive badges, bro. You know, come on. <laughs> Also, don't make builds with one finishing badge. They can work, they can be exceptional and all that. Of course, you're gonna get a lot of badges for your shooting and playmaking and defensive if you have one finishing badge. badge. But what y'all don't get is when you play someone as good as you, that one finishing badge is gonna limit you because then you know, if you playing a bunch of bums, you could just keep shooting, 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 you know, stuff like that. But when you play someone as good as you, you're going to also have to take it up. And it might be in contact sometimes. That's why I make my builds with finishing, because I drive, you know, a lot. And people help off OD. It would, it would just, it would be stupid for me to make like all, like a lot of builds with one finishing badge. I mean, it's good. It can work. But, you know, put something on your finishing, bro. And especially if you, bro, if you hide behind screens and only shoot threes on the twos and the threes like a comp stage player, then it's okay. But if you're an ISO dude and all this other stuff, it's not wise to do one finishing badge. You're, you're kind of limiting yourself. But, I mean, it still can work if you're better than everyone you play, you know? But, yeah, that's all I got to say with that. I'm going to show y'all the builds right here, man. So we're going to go with this pie chart right here, man. I'm going to be showing y'all the offensive threat, the most popular build last year, the slasher sharp. With this pie chart, it was nerfed. But with this pie chart, you get Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame finishing. It's very toxic and you can still speed boost. I'm going to first 
show y'all with all the builds I'm gonna show you you're gonna pick the first pie chart bro right okay now with this build I'm going to first show y'all the smaller version that I would most likely make that will be able to speed boost and get that'll be able to speed boost get Hall of Fame shooting and finishing and still get contact dunks but not unlock contact dunks then I'm gonna show you all another version with a deceiving name that's bigger that gets Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame sh finishing but you're gonna speed boost in a way like a playmaking glass cleaner you're not gonna be able to momentum but you'll still be the offensive threat of old and all that but you know I'm gonna show you I'm, 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 I'm gonna just show y'all so make sure y'all watch this full vid three you know i'm gonna show y'all the version of this with the unique name you know and then i'm gonna show y'all just the the basic bitch name you feel me so we always gonna go burly always go burly it helps you get more contact play better d finish better you're just bigger you're more intimidating to people burly gang in the chat so you're going to make him 6-3 correct for this particular version this is probably the version I'm most likely going to make, or maybe the other version. Um, you're gonna go lowest wingspan. So as you see, you know, high ass dunk, high layup, high close shot, super high shooting, fade decent. You're gonna be able to speed boost if it's plus four like last year with the attributes when you go up from 95, you're gonna have 86 ball control once you hit 99. And then you got some de decent defensive stats. Okay? You're going to pick Slasher Takeover. Now, this is very important with this build. You don't have to. You don't have to, right? But if you're making the offensive threat, the, the Slasher Sharp from last year, you, you're doing it to have contact dunks on a, you know, th th this is what it's for, right? So, this is what I would do. You're going to pick Slasher, and then... The build is going to show, da 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 da. You go, you're a scoring machine, right? So you got a Trey Young, D'Angelo Russell, Jerry West build. Now I'm gonna show y'all that you get Hall of Fame finishing and shooting. Um, I know other people are putting other offensive threats out with gold shooting, but I don't, I don't get the point of that. Um, I thought the whole point was having Hall of Fame shooting and finishing, even though you can't. Like, you're not going to be able to unlock contact dunks, but don't y'all think if you have Hall of Fame badges with a high dunk... See, look, I'm going to show y'all. It goes purple. If you have Hall of Fame badges with a high dunk, even though you don't unlock it with Slasher Takeover, you you might be able to get contact dunks. I mean, it makes sense, right? Don't What, what do y'all think? Or do you think you have to unlock contact dunks? Now, if you make it with the... The gold shooting, which I'm not too sure if that if that's gonna be the way for this this slasher sharp build, but you you get gold shooting, so it's like, what's the what's the point? They don't got a guard, you know. You, you gold shooting, you know. I, I I don't know. I think this is a viable, good, decent build, bro. I think you'll be able to get contact dunks with this, man. Even you know, there's an animation glitch that come out every year. You could wait for that, my boy. But um, I'm going to show you all other versions of this. And also, there's a version. Um, well, let, let me let me let me show you all that you can have Hall of Fame shooting, too. OK, now this is how you're going to build the build, you know, same pie chart. This is how you're going to build the build. If you don't want the scoring machine name, if you want the floor spacing slasher name, you know, you lower the mid range, you know, adjust the free throw. You don't get the floor space and slasher name. Still 6'3. Minimum wingspan. Slasher takeover. Same exact build, bro. And this is who you be, you know? It, th this would be the build. Chauncey Billups, D'Angelo Russell, Jay Morant. <laughs> if you want this name. Now, now I'm going to show y'all the bigger version that won't be able to momentum maybe in takeover if people are running you know floor general and then you take over and stuff but this is the version hall of fame shooting hall of fame finishing contact dunks unlocked and 
you're gonna be called a slasher. So people aren't gonna guard you up high. They don't know you have Hall of Fame shooting badges. It's toxic. So look, let me show you all this build. <laughs> so you're gonna go point guard with this, right? I'm gonna pick this pie chart too. The playmaking pie, the playmaking, uh, playmaking and shooting pie chart, that, that looks like the most promising. I ain't gonna hold you, man. You're gonna go fastest physical. Okay, and if you do the 77 mid-range, it's not going to change the build name for this. You see? 15, 15, 15, or 15, 15, 15, 6. And, you know, I play threes, so this works for me. If you play twos, you're going to want to have more defensive and stuff like that. I like the 15 playmaking. You get you get in more playmaking. Uh, that, that, that This fits my style, right? So, then you're going to make them burly, always burly, correct? You're gonna make them 6'5. You see the driving dunk go up. You see your other stats go up. You see the standing dunk go up. Speed go down a little, but it's okay. You're gonna bring his weight all the way down. Bring your weight down with all the builds. Um That's how it's been every 2K. I don't pretty sure it's not gonna work otherwise for guard builds. You're gonna max out your wingspan, my boy. Max that hoe out. Your lateral, your perimeter, your steel go up, your defense. And when you max out your wingspan for some reason, your lateral and perimeter defense go up and you minimize it, it goes lower. Um, that's a new thing they added. Um, but look, even with max wingspan, you're going to have over an 83 and an 80 midi with max wingspan at 6'5". And you're gonna have contact dunks because it's plus four if it's the attribute plus thing. You know, 82, 83, 84, 85. 85 once you're 99. And you know, yeah, you got the 77 ball handle. You know, someone runs floor general for you. I'm pretty sure like people can still speed boost and stuff. I don't know what's up with the speed boosting this year. Um, but yeah, um, it's not gonna be a momentum build. And if the behind the back's still in the game, you probably won't be able to do the fastest one of that. But this is just a bigger build that will have contact dunks. And then you can even have lock takeover, you feel me? And you know, even with a little more defensive badges or not even lock takeover. But it, it, it's up to you, my boy. But uh, slasher takeover, because that's the intention to get contact dunks, stuff like that. You can still use playmaking, shot creator, whatever you want to do, bro. But the point of this is to get contact dunks and shoot like a god. So you could add this because it will increase your shooting even more. But hey, up to you, man. And then you're going to get the slasher build. Russell Westbrook, you know, best PG in the league for over a decade. It's insane. Jamal Murray, Penny Hardaway. And you a slasher. And no one knows you have Hall of Fame shooting. That's broken. It's a glitch in the matrix, my boy. I'm going to show you all the badges I will pick for, for all three of the builds. Make sure y'all subscribe if you know, my boy. Turn on them post notices. So as you can see, it's Hall of Fame. Oh, what am I doing? It's Hall of Fame, you know. We don't know how consistent works. Hey, is that a different emblem? You know, you could do something like these. Either like this. We don't know how fancy works. They said they patched it and stuff. If they did it, you know you could clearly make this like this you know well not not really you would make it like this you could rock it like this this is one of the ways or no fancy and this Or this, you know, all viable ways, but contact finisher, slithery and relentless, you're gonna want you gonna want those. Contact and slithery most likely, depending on if it's like 20. And you get the Hall of Fame badges. As you can see, there's no quick job, you know what I mean? You gonna have hot zone hunter when you actually get hot zones. Don't put it on till you do. You know you run the main badges just like last year, my boy. 
since you're not gonna really be well you could you know could be something like this or like this or like this you feel me people most likely gonna leave you open so you can rock this like a lower dead eye you feel me and um since you're not gonna be shooting like a lot of greens or like shooting a lot i mean you might so you mean you could put it on hall of fame you really gonna be pulling with this boy i mean you can you gonna have over 80 you know you gonna have gold playmaking You know, you could rock something like this. You know, we, we, we ain't running a diamond. We ain't running a diamond this year. You miss your block. You miss your block. You miss your block. Get your game up, bump. And you know, you could. You know, you could run something like this. Gold rim protector. I came up with that for guards. Uh, it stops everything. The blocks, contest, it, you, you stop a lot of people, bro. Rim protector is the way for defense, man. And that's the end of the vid, my boy. Make sure y'all subscribe if you new. Go watch my last video, my 7.3 point playmaker. He's a god! Y'all let me know if y'all want me to make more 2v2 builds. I mean, these could still work, but, you know, with the lower defense, uh, I... I'm sure y'all could, you know, y'all y'all aren't y'all aren't stupid, right? Like you you know how to adjust builds and I don't know. Y'all let me know what other type of builds y'all want to see, or you could come to my stream and I'll give you my opinion on builds and badges. Well, not badges, on other builds stuff like that. Turn on post notice. I'm out this hole. Go watch my rage ties on my other YouTube channel and I'm out this hole, man.